This is Dominic Turner, the, the face behind the name, the one who's doing all our programming and uh, the, the head of the IT part of the, of the scientific committee. So, Dom, for how long have you been in, the, uh, in this job of building this, this programming and, 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 uh, and the database for the Congress? So uh, I've been working with ICS since 2004, uh, but I've been working for ICS for a few years before that, uh, since 2000, um, but directly as IT director since 2004. And every year I've come along to the scientific committee meeting and bring the logistical support using our software that we've developed to uh, support the work of the committee. And can you explain a bit uh, on, on simple steps? There is the submission, then the the... the evaluation of those abstracts and all of that suddenly ends up in your database for us to discuss here. So how do you do that? Sure. So uh, we're dealing with uh, huge quantities of data and with uh, obviously abstracts that people have submitted. And our job is to uh, make it a seamless process for people to submit their abstracts online and their manuscripts to be kept absolutely anonymous for the entire duration of the period until in fact it was yesterday that we broke the anonymity seal and finally could see all of the author names in the program that we'd made but up until that point the entire committee worked uh, with an anonymous uh, data set and they were able to evaluate all of the abstracts without seeing who was involved so the reviewing of abstracts is also all done online we have a huge team of external reviewers who assist the committee with this very big job we had over a thousand abstracts this year. Each abstract requires over three reviewers to uh, review each one. So that's 3,000 uh, sets of scores that we need to get in with each paper being considered in, by a relevant professional. And uh, being such a multidisciplinary society, that obviously involves a huge number of people from different fields to look at the specialist papers in every area. Um, at the end of this process, we get back to uh, the host city with all of these scores, and we're able to look at all of the comments made by all of these external reviewers who might not be there on the day, but they have given all of their feedback into the website that we have at our fingertips. Uh, we're able to look at all of these scores and, in fact, read the abstracts and discuss them as a committee. So many of these have been flagged for discussion by the committee, that there are issues raised and we need to look at them more closely or some of the reviewers don't agree so we look at uh, all of the scores where there is a high variance a discrepancy between the reviewers scores and uh, just make sure that we've uh, given a fair evaluation for every abstract at the end of that process we have a very high degree of confidence in the scoring and we're able to look at the very top scoring papers in every subject area and build a program out of those and uh, our job is uh, there to make that whole process as seamless as possible. And uh, if, when I first started working for ICS, each committee member was dumped in front of them with a huge pile of uh, paper abstracts. And now there's pretty much hardly any paper used in the whole process. And uh, consequently, it's much faster. You don't lose papers along the way. And uh, we can treat each abstract uh, with the respect it deserves from the amount of work that each person put into write these abstracts and do a few years of research to, uh, to write the thing. And, and the efficiency is amazing because we're getting faster and faster each year. Absolutely. Um, obviously, cost to the organization is important, so the more work we can cram into the shortest amount of time makes us uh, efficient co in a cost fashion also to the society. And we want to uh, be efficient and spend uh, ICS's money wisely. So it's very important that we manage to keep the number of days that the committee meets to the absolute minimum and we can now create the entire program within two days and that's pretty much down to doing everything digitally. And could you, descri uh, could you describe how was your experience uh, and the, the challenges of putting together the new keyword system we've asked you to do for this year? Yeah, so uh, this year people were asked to um, put keywords against their abstracts, uh, a minimum of three but up to five. Um, and this has proved to be a very useful tool when constructing the program. Typically, you are looking for the best papers in a certain thematic area. And uh, previously, we had abstract categories, which were quite restrictive. So if something was uh, applied to two different categories, and then it was up to the author to just choose one, it would be 
easy to overlook it when you were looking to build your session. But with this new keyword system, it's much more like a fuzzy logic system for searching, and you're able to uh, therefore bring up the best abstracts in every category area, and I think that really helped the committee to give them the tools to build the, the ideal program we were looking for. And as a reviewer, you have revolutionized everything with the new algorithm, and, and I think that, that the keyword system is, as with the improvement we're planning, are going to, to make the reviewing process even more efficient. What do you think? Yeah, so there are a lot more keywords than there were abstract categories, so it's possible for your reviewers to uh, choose a much tighter um, group of abstracts based on their interest and areas of expertise. So I think it was useful from that perspective as well for reviewers to choose their workload because our reviewing online system is self-selecting, so reviewers can choose the, the work that they wish to review based on their subject area. Great. Thank you for the great work, Tom.